Zach Wheeler missed all of last season after undergoing Tommy John's surgery, but Zach is now on target for a mid-season return if all goes according to plan. Earlier today, I caught up with Zach and asked him about his daily routine. So I get here about 9 o'clock every morning, um, uh, get ready, you know, put some heat on, um, get the arm moving, get the legs moving, come out here, throw about 9.30. Um, you know, it's anywhere from 90 to 120 feet that I throw. Um, 20 throws at that distance and then go back inside, um, you know, either get a lower or upper body lift in. Um, you know, Dustin, our strength coach, has been helping me out in the gym a lot, so it's a big help. And then, uh, you know, I'll get treatment on whatever I need to get treatment on, elbow, shoulder, legs, whatever. Um, and then that's really about my day. I know the Mets have put a target date now on July the 1st for a return for you. It sort of slowed down what was sort of a fast track for you. How do you feel about that? Um, you know, they, they <laughs> I guess the doctors are doctors for a reason. So, uh, you know, you got you to gotta put your trust into them. Um, and I've already put my trust into the, the team doctors. Um, so, you know, it's, it's whatever they say goes. And, uh, you know, obviously I want to get back out there on the field and help out the team as early as I can. But, uh, you know, it's, it's all about, you know, my health and, and getting back on the field and being the best that I can be once I do get back out there. Zach, how much have you relied on guys like Harvey and Madsen DeGrom who have gone through Tommy John before? And how, how much counsel have you seeked from them? Yeah, uh, you know, I, I think I talked to him most when um, the surgery was about to happen, when I did find out that I had the torn UCL. And, uh, you know, those guys helped me out a lot. Um, you know, even Bobby Parnell, because he was down here while I was down here a lot. So, um, you know, they said it was going to be a long process. It's going to be tedious. And, uh, you know, it's definitely that. And, um, you know, you have to grind through it, take it day by day, and just, you know, get your, get your work done. In sort of a weird way, do you believe this process – can help you as a pitcher, and, and if so, in what way? Um, yeah, I mean, you know, time off as a pitcher can always help. You can, you know, pick apart the game. You can watch hitters. Um, you know, that's, that's all I did was watch every game last year on TV. And so, you know, you can sort of pick up tendencies of guys, especially in our division that you face all the time. And, uh, you know, once you start getting back on the mound down here, you know, you can sort of try to perfect your mechanics because you have a lot of time on the mound. One of the huge offseason storylines for the Mets, the re-signing of Yoenis Cespedes. So Cespedes wanted to come back to the Mets. You called Sandy around the trade deadline last year. You wanted to remain a Met. We know Wilmer Flores wanted to remain with the Mets. Uh, give us your assessment, Zach, of the culture of the organization and what's changed to have everybody so excited to want to be a part of this organization. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's exciting to be a part of this organization. Um, you know, there's a lot of young talent here, which uh, makes it fun in the clubhouse. And, um, you know, it's, it's fun to go out there every fifth day and uh, watch one of these guys pitch. Um, uh, you definitely don't want to be facing them, so, you know, why not play with them? And, uh, you know, Cespedes was a big part of our year last year. Everybody knows that. And uh, I think he was really accepted by the fans in New York. And, uh, you know, when you're accepted by the fans, it's a great place to play. And uh, it's a lot of fun. How big an effect has, has Dan Worthen had on you? Uh, he's had a big effect. Um, you know, you, you have good pitching coaches along the way. Um, you know, that sort of help you out. But, uh, you know, Dan being where he is, and he's been up there for a while now. And uh, he, he, he understands guys well. And, uh, you know, he doesn't try to push something on you. You know, he may say, try this or try that, and he'll give you an option whether you want to keep it or not. And, you know, some pitching coaches aren't like that, but, um, you know, Dan is like that where um, he can give you, you know, a couple options and you can sort of pick which one you want and sort of just go with it. Uh, did this injury and what you've gone through bring into focus how fragile a career is? And, and did it bring more appreciation to what you do? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, you know, I didn't play all last year. It's going to be basically a year off from baseball. I've been playing since I was playing T-ball ever since I could stand. So, um, you know, it definitely makes you think and appreciate it a little bit more. Um, I know it killed my parents because they've had kids playing baseball, you know, for 30 years now. So right. this was their first off season of, you know, our first summer of not having a kid play baseball. So I know it killed them a little bit more than me, probably. Well, Zach, it's so good to see you smiling and doing well. We look forward to seeing you down in Florida in a week or two. Thanks for spending a few minutes with us. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys.